So now let's break down 2018, right? Yes. The World Cup. Let's let's look at the best players. Right. And we'll break down position by position. Right. Goalkeepers. I mean, oft understated, but the backbones of most teams. Yes, definitely. We've seen uh, goalkeepers have the likes of Germany get out of the tournament. Yeah. And uh, we've seen it's the likes. It's an interesting of, tournament for goalies. Oh, it yeah. is. It is. Yeah. I think uh, the whereas. The, the past few games leading down to penalties. Yes. Yeah. Like Akin Fair for Russia, he's, uh, he's been compared to legends. He's yeah. been called a legend in Russia now. Kasper Schmeichel in front of his dad. That was a great moment. It was, lost. It was yeah. emotional, man. Yeah. I, I hope uh, I myself have that uh, moment someday, whether it's at the World Cup where yeah. I see my son. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't name a position because it's, it's up to him. But uh, if I could, I, I'd love to see him be a striker. Uh, definitely, if he can do better than me and achieve more than me, yes. I hope my son does. But it'll be an emotional moment when I see him. Uh, uh, when I see him be, play a yeah. tournament, you know. So, so goalkeepers who impressed you uh, at this edition? Ochoa. Yeah. Uh, I think his name's Joe Hugh Will. Joe yeah. Hugh Win. If, I don't, if yeah. I don't get it wrong, yeah. if I have, I apologize. I'm not going to try to correct you because I'm, 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 I might be guilty. I apologize. Let's just call him Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Joe's been really good. I can say yes. Yes. Uh, Courtois. Mm. Uh, he's had a bad season with Chelsea yeah. because of injuries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he, Belgium, the counter attack. Let's let's just sum up the counter attack. We've seen goalkeepers. Bump a boom it long just to make sure that they don't lead to penalty. Oh, sorry, they don't lose the game. And then you have a Kotoa who's rolled it out. <laughs> who's that was brave. Yeah, it was brave also for the fact that Japanese were on top of the box, yeah. and he still found one man. I don't think he just found. I think it was Kevin De Bruyne who got the ball out. It was okay. Then so he found De Bruyne. Yeah. yeah. We all know what De Bruyne is capable yeah. of, especially this season. Right. He's had the best season with uh, Manchester City, yeah. and then man, De Bruyne is one of my favorite midfielders in this tournament, at least. Okay, so um, let's not. It's not been a good tournament for Manuel Neuer and David here, but let's move on, move on to the defenders. Right, right. Um, on, from, Diego Godin is a name I could throw in right at the top. Godin, Grand Crest. Yes. Uh, Yeri Mina scored three. Yeri Mina. Uh, Jimenez. Yeah. So Godin has turned around and said himself, uh, I, I'm not sure if I can quote him on this, but he said, Oh, I can see Godin being replaced by Jimenez if the time comes. Oh, he said that himself? Yes. He says, Jimenez is me. And I believe it. I think both of them. They play for Atletico together. It's a great So it's, it's just, Jimenez has so much to learn. Godin, like, this is, this is I think, a nitty gritty or, or, or technical technicality that I noticed. We all talk about Ronaldo's jump. Please, whoever's watching this, make sure you look, make sure you look at Godin jump for the next corner he jumps up for. Wow. Make sure. I, his jump is incredible for his age. Incredible, and he's one of those no-nonsense defenders. And now that you said that, it's no surprise that up until the Portugal game, right. Uruguay hadn't conceded a goal in 2018, in all of 2018. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. See, because he's a no-nonsense defender. Right. I, as as a striker, I would love to play against a PK or a Ramos, but not a Godin or a Jimenez. No nonsense. No nonsense, or even for that matter, a Thiago Silva. No. But, Pepe was was a worst night was the worst nightmare for a lot of strikers because right. they know they're going to get kicked. As a yeah. striker, you don't want to get kicked. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, especially with number nines. Up, you know, if I can say about like myself, your backs towards the goal, trying to set up your teammates. You get kicked and how? Whether you're going up for flick-ons, they're going to hit you. You get on your feet, they're going to kick you. You have it on a bouncy ball, they're going to elbow you in your back. Man, and these are the defenders that you know. Yeah. You know, then the defenders like PK, who you know they're going to try coming in front of you and you just put your arm out and then they'll be rolling like a Neymar. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, uh, you know, all due respect to them, they're, yeah. they're each to its own. They play really well, but if I had to choose defenders, I'd have got, you know, my team. Superb. Uh, let's move on to the midfielders. It's fun to say this, but uh, little magician Modric and mm -hmm. Rakitic, right. they play for two very different clubs in Spain, but they're doing it together at the World Cup and magic. It, it's just magic when it, 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 Again, if I had to make a team, they'd be my center. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if by slowly, slowly I'm making my own that, team here, yeah. but yeah. uh, I'd have uh, Rakitic, Modric in the midfield. 
but uh, not just them. I think uh, you know we 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 we're, we're quick to criticize the likes of Neymar and uh, Coutinho. This has been Coutinho's tournament, yes. But you know we say oh Neymar has not done this. He's been rolling around. But out of the seven goals that Brazil has, it's either been Coutinho or Neymar. And he's coming back from injury. And a world's hopes on his shoulders. Yeah. He's done well. Yeah, because he's yeah. that's that's what happens. You 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 look forward to the players that the world keeps talking about for the 364 days, yeah. right? So moving on to the World Cup this year, the whole past year has been like, will Neymar do this at the World Cup? Right. Will a Pogba do this at the World Cup? Yeah, but because we watch them in, in club football, you know, we, we we say, oh, he's been so good for club. I hope he does it for country because. That is the target you want to achieve. You want to be the best for your country. You, you want to be called the best footballer of, let's say, a Brazil or let's say, of France. And obviously, you'll have pressure. Coming up to the same point with Pogba. You know? Do you think he's done well this World Cup? Uh, uh, see, with Pogba, if I can go into a technicality. Yeah, I think it's tough to gauge just exactly what he does. A lot of people get it wrong. Right? Yes, with, with us as midfielders, yeah. we, we want a midfielder that snatches balls. Uh, picks up, which puts in incisive balls, but defends as well, no nonsense. But with Pogba, you can't expect that. You can't expect a Kante from a Pogba. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's as simple as that. Uh, but Pogba is someone, if I if I can sum him up as such, great footballer, immense talent, very creative. But you can't give him a job. Mm. You can't. If you turn out and let's say, oh, Mark Kante for 90 minutes. He give up in 10 minutes. Yeah, and yeah. every time he's played for United and has been given a job to pick up an opponent, he's, he's messed up because you can't give him a job. But when he's on his free will, wanting to play... One of the best. One of the best. One of the best. But at the same time, that's where Modric and Rakitic are different. They hmm. do their job and what the coach wants. So, you know, that each to its own again. Uh, Kante is also one of my favorites. Unbelievable. I mean, two times Premier League player of the year. It's not easy. Premier League is the highest league we look into. Yeah. It, his engine, uh, Kante, is just all over the pitch. It, it allows the rest of the France team to do Even Pogba turned around and said that for this yeah. matter, that right. uh, Kante makes my job easy. Cool. Uh, which is true. Yeah. We, we don't see the negativities or the drawbacks of Pogba for the likes of Kante. In the same way, we, we talk about Modric in the mid, midfield. So we, we don't we don't uh, even try to look at the Casimiro sitting in, in, in front of the Madrid defence. If I'm not mistaken, he's missing the next game for Brazil. I think he's suspended. Uh -huh. That'll be massive. Casimiro and they yeah, at Madrid and uh, Brazil. Great player. Uh, yes, he is. If he misses, again, I'm trying yeah, to be a coach in I'm my head. 70% sure. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be a coach in my head. I'm trying to think who do, who do we put in there. Fernandinho, I'm assuming, would be the would be the well, he will have to sit yeah. again because yeah. uh, uh, well that's what you need yeah. or else you can go an all out attack mm. you can make it into a, a 4 3 3 with bringing in the likes of Firmino yeah. up front because Jesus hasn't been firing right he hasn't so again uh, plenty of things if Marcelo is fit but no actually I correct myself there uh, Felipe Luis should stay not Marcelo as much as I love him he Felipe Luis gives uh, the rest of the Brazilian attacking line the the firepower to say don't worry about the back line you do it and I think he's he's connected well with Neymar as well yeah. which we which we all thought will he be able to will he not be able to he's done really well he's done really well with Neymar on his on on the left in front of him so yes uh, the midfield the, these have been great players not taking nothing away from Mbappe. Uh, yeah, let's move on towards Mbappe and the forwards. Yes. Mbappe, he's 19. I mean, that, that, that embarrasses me a little. That uh, <laughs> He's on the world stage. He's good. He destroyed Argentina. Game destroyed. Destroyed. And uh, Mbappe, Suarez and Cavani, that goal they had against Portugal, it was telepathic. Other strikers who impress you. Of course, this would be something you'd love to talk about. But oh, strikers, love, love, strikers love. who have done Again, well. Again, we can go on. There's Mbappe. Wow, when you talk about Lukaku, moments, Kane. yes, Mbappe, Giroud helping France against yeah. Australia, which which was important. Otherwise, I that's where I thought this World Cup could get difficult for France. There's Lukaku who's been in great form, but we all thought that oh, he's a he's a typical number nine, 
you know, plays with his back towards the goal, pushes defenders off, gets on the end of balls, that's it. The the amount of finesse, if I can sum it up, uh, he's brought to the World Cup is very Henri like. Yeah. Is very Henri like. I wonder how he's I got that. I wonder there. why. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a hidden Henri in the Belgium uh, squad. Yeah. But again, I, I, you know, it's, it's great if you learn from the best and Henri. That dummy in the 90th minute, I, I wouldn't imagine Lukaku. Would pulled, you imagine a Suarez doing that? Uh, no. I don't. No. I, I think. Oh, sorry. Would you imagine a Neymar doing that? I think he would have gone for goal. Yeah. He would have done something to get it towards goal. He might have got it in, but that's another. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I think it, it's Lukaku understands the fact that it's yes, it's me, but uh, I need my team to win, which as a footballer is very important. Yeah. You know, as as the cliche saying goes, the name on the front matters more than the name at the back. Mm. And uh, that move, you could say, summed it up. It yeah. was uh, it was De Bruyne on the counter attack and um, laying it off for Lukaku, who did a dummy for the goal to come in. Yeah, Chadley scored. Ch- uh, sure. Unlikely hero, Nasser Chadley, but yeah. Nasser Chadley making sure that he follows in, <laughs> knowing that Lukaku will let him go for him. Uh, so that that's Lukaku, yes. Uh, for the moment, the golden boot leader. So, yeah. my question is, what has Harry Kane done in the sense penalties? Penalties, <laughs> and if you saw the one goal, I don't remember which game it was. Mm-hmm. He wasn't even looking at the ball. It got deflected off his heel. It wasn't going towards goal, and it went in. So, uh, whatever he's eaten or whichever god he's prayed to before the World Cup, I want to know. Yeah, I want to know. My season's coming up. I want to go to the, go to that god and do it. But I think there was a stat uh, where so Harry Kane had managed five goals initially right. in about 150 minutes. Right. Messi had taken. 900 minutes to get five, which yes. is fair. But yeah, it's, it's been his World Cup, Harry Kane's World Cup. It's been Harry Kane's World Cup. Lukaku's giving him a tough fight. Mm. But I think uh, if we can say so, it's going to be a fight between these two. Yeah. Unless there's an unlikely unlikely hero coming up. The hat trick, maybe. Yeah, but that's the only way anyone else catches up. Yes, I think uh, Harry Kane for the moment, I hope. Yes, we've given him the back heel goal, mm. but. I hope he doesn't claim it, just like his header. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if he does, good for him, good for England. Um, I I doubt England will win it. My the entire way. Yes. Wait, let's wait, let's wait on to that and uh, let's move towards predictions actually mm-hmm. in our next segment. Uh, no problem. So coming back to the strikers then, yeah. uh, I think Zuba. Yeah, 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 Russia. It's got three. Yeah. Beast. Great number nine. Great number nine. I think uh, he should have stayed on, and then it wouldn't have gone to penalties yeah. in the last game. I think if he stayed on, he he's a proper bully. He he's a bigger version of Diego Costa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can say. If there could be one. Yeah. If there could be one, uh, that's that's him. Then Mbappe again. If you wanna if you wanna put him in the striking uh, area, yeah. then you can say. He's been great, 19. He's he's been the youngest to score a brace as well. Youngest goal scorer for France. Yes. Whole host of records. I think he's going to break his own record soon. If he so keeps playing good. the World Cup, each World Cup, I think he can easily, easily, easily break a lot of records in the World Cup itself. So Kane, Lukaku, Mbappe, the list goes on. You just pick your favourite.